Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming here today. My name is Robert Cunningham, Director of Operations with RV Seoul, known to our customers in East Africa as Kudura Power. We are building Africa's largest decentralized utility. The reason we're doing this is because we identified utility deficit access as the number one bottleneck to sustainable economic growth in rural communities. This directly contributes to poor health and education opportunities, entire neighborhoods that lose productivity at night when the sun sets, and a lack of income opportunities that perpetuates this vicious cycle. So we invented the patented Kudura Sustainable Development Solution, which integrates clean and affordable power and water generation and storage services with pay-as-you-go technology into a single system. We have proven the Kudura technology over the last nine years in Western Kenya. Let's take a look at Kudura in action. Solar panels generate clean power, which is distributed along overhead power lines to our paying commercial and residential customers. You can also see some of the public lighting that we offer as a social good to these communities. Batteries ensure that 24-7 electricity access is available to our consumers, and that Big Blue Tub stores potable drinking water that customers collect from the generation site. So our service and impact offering begins with the access to affordable and clean solar power. We leverage that power to create clean drinking water through a pump and a filter, and we complement the provision of these utilities with SME empowerment and appliance finance initiatives, which remove the barriers to capital that our customers face when looking to establish and operate robust value-added businesses. These new businesses create sustained increased income opportunities for our customers, and that increase in disposable income is then used to, power, to purchase more power and more water, which drives now a virtuous cycle of economic empowerment, which takes our customers out of poverty. Another aspect to our IP is data. This privileged relationship with the rural consumer gives us visibility on the daily spending habits of our customers. Our business intelligence platform aggregates this data across all of our business activities and consolidates it into a clean and concise portal for our stakeholders. In addition, our business intelligence platform is building tools, such as mobile applications, for our staff in the field to better service our customers. The goal is to monetize this data to allow our customers to have access to service sectors that they're currently prevented through our partners, such as commercial banking, insurance, healthcare, and retail. Now, the standard business mini-grid business model involves finding an anchor client, such as a telecom tower or a T estate, and connecting those with the affordability nearby. But this always struck us as a little bit odd, because you're effectively leaving those homes and families that require these utilities the most in the dark, effectively subsistence farmers, most of them. So we at Kadura believe in what we call UBUA, or universal basic utility access. The idea that the access to utilities is a fundamental right of all human citizens in the modern world. So when we go to a Kadura community, we look to connect 100% of all households, not just those with the affordability to pay, so that no one is left behind in the dark in the race to energy access. What this does is this builds community buy-in, as nobody is left behind. We have support from local and national politicians and regulatory authorities since we are directly serving their lowest income constituents and, of course, from international investors as we are directly contributing to the sustainable development goals that you see here. Now, over nine years in Western Kenya, we've proven Kudura technology and we've commissioned a social and impact study to understand the benefits that we believe that we have on the community. And we found some remarkable results a 74% increase in disposable income, zero cases of waterborne illness in an area where they're very prevalent, and a 180% increase in girls' school attendance as they're no longer tasked with basic chores like fetching water and cooking fuels for their families. We also uncovered some unexpected results, such as a 100% increase in cassava yields as folks were accessing educational media to figure out how to do their jobs better, or a 66% decrease in malaria as folks were using their newfound income to buy quote-unquote luxury items like mosquito nets. Kadura is led by a world-class team, and we are proud of the diversity of our staff in terms of backgrounds, culture, and gender, and even more so of the fact that 95% of all of our employees are hired directly from the Kadura communities in which we seek to serve. Our world-class team is supported by world-class partners, which culminated in the close of our Series A last year in August, led by Aegis and Acumen. 
Acumen, as a leading social impact fund, ensures that we stay honest to our social and environmental mission, while Aegis, France's second largest infrastructure and engineering company, has the technical and commercial know-how to ensure that we can scale at size successfully, efficiently, and cost-effectively. Like all utilities, even PG&E here in California, we do require subsidies, and we've been privileged to have received that type of funding from DFIs across Europe who believe in the sector and our UBUA vision for it. This has put us on a very ambitious path to scale. We look to impact a quarter of a million people over the next five years. Presently, we operate 11 Kadura sites, which are benefiting 12,000 people, and this is setting us up for the next stage of growth, where we look to add an additional 25,000 people to our customer base. Which brings us to why we are here today. We are looking for partners to join us in this journey. For the next phase of growth, we have already raised $2.76 million in committed funding, and we're looking for an additional $3.7 million from you here today. We have layered our investment ask to appeal and align with the different investment mandates that may be in this room. For instance, direct grant subsidies to our lowest income consumers to ensure that they get connected to the grid from day one, as well as a variety of different patient debt facilities that can be used to finance our CapEx, OpEx, and R&D needs. We are confident that this investment offering will enable you to exceed your investment objectives from coming here today. Thank you so much for listening, and we look forward to speaking to you outside.